Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Sorry about the sound of my neighbor's dog. Hi, good evening. It's not mine, it's my neighbor's, but he's very loud. Oh, <laughs> I thought uh, I thought it was your your pet. No, mine is just relaxed there. She's just scolded. Oh. She's grounded, not to be noisy. <laughs> I believe it's the one to turn English like us. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe they want to participate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why he's saying hello. <laughs> How are you, people? All right. All right. Bye. How's it going? Thank God. Thank God. We're working uh, so hard this day. I imagine. <laughs> however, we are very, very nice. That's great. Okay. Yes, God is being good. <laughs> yes, true. Okay. Okay, Thursday, one more day. <laughs> we're on okay. vacation, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people oh, are really. working on vacation, right? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, of course. Yeah, I heard yesterday, some people told me they are working on vacation. I said, wow. Yes, yeah. that's very yeah. brave. That's I will very work until you. Wednesday. On Wednesday. So you're working yes. three days next week. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least many people are going to be on vacation and traffic, it's going to be more relaxed, <laughs> supposedly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we never know. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Evening, Good evening. We were talking about next week that it's vacation, but some people are still going to be working. Yes. So let's cheer for those people that are going to be working. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yes. Well, Today is Thursday. Let me see what we have for today's class. Yeah, we have. Actually, I see that we have completed about three sections, right, of the platform with the content, right? And this is our second week, but this is like the full week, right? Because last week we started on Wednesday. So this is our second week, let's say, yeah, full week from Monday to Friday. And we have completed about three sections of the module, of the content, right, of the topics that you have on the platform. So we're doing really well. So welcome, this is our class number seven. And of course, we're gonna review the use of adjective clauses and report from a reading. We're going to have some reading tonight. Okay? Okay. Great. Awesome. Welcome. And let's get started. Uh -huh. This is a slide I just brought for you. It talks about relative clauses. Yesterday, we saw who, which, and that, right? Who is for people, which is for things, and that can be used either for people or things, but in a less formal way. And whose, it's another relative pronoun that can be used for possession, right? So you say, oh, my brother whose car is broken right now, needs a ride <laughs> okay because his car is broken now he needs a ride yes so that's how we use whose yes or you can say my sister whose daughter is at university remember that a relative clause gives extra information 
or gives information that helps to clarify the subject of the sentence sometimes. So this is an extra explanation, it says who. It's used to refer to people or animal. If you refer to an animal with respect, you can also use who. You say, oh, my dog who's sleeping right now has prohibited to bark while I'm teaching. Okay. <laughs> so if I refer to my dog or to a pet, to an animal with more respect, okay? Of course, that is optional. In English, you can use that and that's not a problem, okay? You say, oh, my dog, that, it's been with me for about seven years, uh, needs to go to the vet, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> actually, I'm trying to take her mm, probably this weekend, if not next week. So, it is used to refer to people or animal. It can't be omitted if it's the subject of the relative clause. The girl who lives next door is very clever, right? This is an example. So it cannot be omitted. You have to say it, who or that. Most of the time we say that because it relates to Spanish somehow, because we say, oh, my neighbor who has that dog is not at home right now. But instead, we usually say, my neighbor that has that dog is not at home right now, right? So we tend to use that because it's similar to Spanish. But instead of saying, my neighbor who has that dog, right? Because my neighbor is a person, of course, right? And then I was explaining a little bit about who's. It says, whose is used to refer to a possession. It refers to people or things. It can never be omitted. <laughs> Paul, whose dad is a doctor, is living in Berlin right now. So the dad of Paul, yes, it refers to possession. Of course, we don't possess people, literally, but in English, if he is my dad, so I have to use a possessive adjective, my, your, his, her, right? So whose substitute, his, her, my, your, our, yes? So that's why we use whose. Then which, it is used for things, never for people, okay? <laughs> so it can be omitted when it is not the subject of the relative clause. I lost the money which my mom gave me. I can perfectly self omit actually which and the sentence does not change the meaning. So it's I lost my money my mom gave me. It's kind of weird, but we can use it. We can say it that way and it's correct. But we usually say I lost the money that my mom gave me, right? We tend to use that, 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 that all the time, but it's not the only way, yes? We have these other relative clauses, <laughs> okay? So, and then the famous that. It can be used for people and things. The man that is waiting at the bus stop isn't my friend. Oh, the man who is waiting at the bus stop is not my friend, right? I've just repaired that chair that you are using now, yes? So this is just a review of what we saw yesterday, okay? Is there any question regarding this? Mm -hmm. No? Clear as my water. <laughs> Because <laughs> my water is not very Thank clear. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Uh -huh. This is when we demonstrate how clear it is. <laughs> okay, we have some examples. We have some sentences in which, in which, listen to me, we are going to use the relative pronouns. Okay, so I complete the sentence with an appropriate relative pronoun. Rewrite it in the brackets when can be omitted. Of course, I don't, um, don't tell me if it can be or it cannot be omitted. Just tell me which relative pronoun sounds better in each of the sentences. We have 12 sentences. Of course, I'm going to share these screens with you. 
and um, you're gonna be working in pairs or in trios because we're not many. Yes, we're gonna be working in few groups actually. Let's see. Hello, some people didn't come to classes yesterday. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people couldn't attend the class. <laughs> How are you, mister? Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? Sorry, sorry. I was sorry working. For <laughs> sorry for ah, yesterday. you were working. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, so for you, this structure sounds new. Um, a, a little bit because uh, uh, yesterday uh, I did the, the platform. So you could complete the, the exercises. Uh, just just the section three, mm -hmm. uh, the part one. All right. Yes. So you just were a one. little bit familiar with the structure already. Uh, yes, a little bit. Okay. Yes, probably unconsciously we use it, right? <laughs> but okay. you say, oh, that's the the place that I told you about last time, you say, okay, so unconsciously we're using that, which, who, right, to connect to ideas. And that is the only use okay. of the relative pronouns, I mean, the relative clauses as well. Okay, okay. here we go. Okay. Hello. Teacher, me sacó de la clase. Really? What happened? Oh my goodness. Es que vengo, vengo del trabajo, entonces ahí bajándome del bus. No pero... worries, no problem. Ahorita lo ubicamos con alguien. Give me one second, please. Gracias, teacher. No problem here. Let me see. Do you know who the woman? Do you know the woman? Who's who is taking to the taking to the to the teacher? Who is talking to the teacher? Is who? Yeah. It's who? Oh, who? We can use know. we can use who or we can use whom. Who? The both is the the correct or only one. And that's who. Uh, who? I believe it's who. Um, okay. I don't know what says Eduardo. Who? Uh, uh, and Charles, the first, the first boo is, is who? Is who? Uh, oh. Okay, my uh, opinion is who? Okay, the, hmm. the, the two are big. Uh, he pictures as a which is which. Yes, yes, I don't know the name of the students. Who grandparents are Italians? I think, but uh, who's? Who's? who's okay. I uh, don't know the name of the students. Yeah, yeah I have a doubt. In, Who, in whose parents are Italians? Teacher in the num in the number four mm -hmm. say I don't know the name of the students whose whose parents? Yes. 
Uh, whose, okay. whose parents or grandparents? What does it say? Okay. Yes. Whose, whose grandparents, grandparents are uh -huh. Because okay. those are okay. the grandparents of those students. Uh, those. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. We didn't like the letter that she said. We talk about uh, person and things. Oh, Where yes. do you see? I think it's which my friend took. What do you think, uh, Laura? No, Claudia? Well, I, in my case, I think is whose the flight whose my friend took took was very slow. And you, Mayra, what do you think? Um, the I think it's who. Who? Okay. Who's French? No. Um, Wolf, whose 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 look very expensive in the same the wallet. That. That. or wish. Or wish. On first position, también. Mm -hmm. oh. uh -huh. I think that is which or that. I don't know. Wish the wish or that? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the, the wallet, the wish. wallet, my cell phone in the street, belong to Marta. Wish, wish, um, number eight, the vegetables. Oh. Wish. Foods you are eating now are from the best supermarket in town. Maybe that. That. Or which? That or this? Which on the road? Can be. Excuse me? Which? Which? I think it's which? Okay. okay. Is, that. I believe it which because he's speaking about the box. Okay. It was that. Okay. Okay, it's back. It's which? Which? Uh, number 10. Or that? The athletes. The athletes who won the competition was really good and handsome. Is who? Is who? Yes, because está, eh, porque está hablando acerca del atleta que ganó la competición. Ya, yeah, Se trata de una persona. Es who. who. Yes. Who. Uh, number My uncle about a house. My uncle. Who, who was. Yes. Built a... who was built a hundred years ago. Is who. Is who. Yes, because he is he's speaking. Uh, speak about it's about uh the uncle yeah mi, mi tío <laughs> uh, mi tío compró una casa una casa una casa un apartment no una casa house a house <laughs> una casa okay. a house who was built que fue edificada hace 100 años yeah okay uh, number 12 and basilia Carlos. Uh, 
And in this cool. case, the number 11, I think is cool. Cool. Oh, I don't know what is the pronunciation. Who say uh, this because uh, mm -hmm. it's used to refer to possession. In this case, the 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 house is possession. Yes, it's possession. Yeah, the house. And the number eleven. Yeah. Number eleven. Talk about a house. Ah, okay. In that case, is which? No. In eleven, is who? because it's the possession is the horse is is used to refer to possession ah oh, well okay i think i don't <laughs> okay okay hey okay yeah, in my case i man. i believe I believe it's which because he's speaking about the, the house. Uh, I, that I cannot be this good. That, that, that cannot be that. Uh, so it's, it's whose. All he pictures whose because of painted are very valuable. Valuable. Sí, dejémoslo así. Okay. Whose. Who's? Number four. Ah, I don't know the name of the students whose grandparents are Italians. Okay. Number five. Number five. She didn't like the letter that she received last week. Okay, the number six okay. is the woman was wearing some strange clothes which looked very expensive. Okay, the seven one. Uh, the wallets that my son found in the street belonged to Martha. Okay, number eight, the vegetable which you are eating now are from the best supermarket in town. Mm. The, the, the number eight, the, I, I, I think is that. I think it's that the but vegetables that you are eating now I'm are not from sure. the best supermarket in town. I uh, think it's that, but uh -huh. I, I don't know. Yes, I, I think it's that, but I'm not seeing because it's okay. the vegetables. Number nine. Number nine is the best, uh, Margaret. Margaret. Uh, Margaret gave me a big box which contained some interesting leaflets. Uh -huh. Okay. Number 10. Uh, the athlete who, who won the competition was really good and handsome. Uh, handsome. Yes. Okay. Number 11. 11. My uncle bought a house that was built a hundred years ago. Okay. Jonathan is a policeman whose who son wants to be an astronaut. Who's okay. okay. Astronaut. We finish. Bueno, I think uh, we are agreed <laughs> in almost all yeah. the sentences. Yes. I think all oh. okay. Hi. How was it? <laughs> Challenging. Difficult. Yes, it's a little challenging. It's a little bit challenging, yes. Mr. Pineda, welcome. <laughs> Long time no see. How is the signal now? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. But it's it's not for the topic. Okay. It's about, <laughs> it's about the, the vacation week. Yay! <laughs> we are not having classes. 
Yeah, but uh, the vacation is starting on Monday. And ends on Friday. Ah, okay. Yeah, Thanks. the whole week you won't have classes. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes. The last class is tomorrow, and then we come back until April the 18th, I think. Let me check. Yes. The 18th, that week, we're going to have classes also from Monday to Friday. So that's going to be from 18th to the 22nd. Then the following week, we're just going to have classes three days. It's going to be the 25th, 26th, and 27th, and we're done. Okay. Yes. Uh, next, next week, so no, uh, no class? At all. Vacation. And you? Yeah. <laughs> Me at work. <laughs> Me at work. <laughs> yeah, but vacation from class. <laughs> yes, you can get home, uh, relax. <laughs> you can get sure, home uh, and watch some videos. Work for tomorrow. Working. Yes, I imagine. Yeah, so many people are working. Some days at least, right? Are we um, are we free for for tomorrow? For no, tomorrow? not tomorrow. Next week. Tomorrow uh, we have classes. We still have ah, classes. Really? Yes. Really? And the week that uh, we return, we have also classes on Fridays, from Monday uh, to Friday. Yes. And next week is free. Yes. Ah, really? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's good. We can go right. to the Monday, beach. Monday, eighteen. Yes. Return. We okay. return on Monday the eighteenth. That's right. All right. Okay. Let's compare our answers. Uh huh. Do you know the? Let me get the the menu for the writing. Yes, it's right here. So, do you know the woman? Who? Who? Right here, we need. Who is that? Who is talking to the teacher, right? Do you know the woman who's talking to the teacher? All the pictures. All the that. pictures. That, okay. That. It refers to the pictures, okay, not to Picasso. All the pictures that Picasso painted are very valuable. That so, or which. That okay. or which, actually, that yes. What is more common, people usually use that. But if you say which, of course, you sound a little bit more formal. <laughs> Upscaling, <Okay>. yes. <laughs> the flight. Who's that? My friend was that. very... That. That. that or which. That's both <laughs> which in this case, right? Okay, the fly which my friend took was very slow, or the fly that, because we're referring to the flight. Yes, that my friend took was very slow. I don't know the name of the students. Who's, who, whose grandparents are Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whose grandparents are Italian. So the grandparents of these students, right? So that's why we use whose. Whose refers to the possession, uh, right? She didn't like the letter that she received. Yeah, that she received mm -hmm. yesterday, that. last week, that or which. I don't know which sounds more natural for you. She didn't like the letter that she received last week or she didn't like the letter that which she receives last week. That she received. That she received, that she right? Received. Sometimes you have to kind of play with this. Say, okay, which sounds more natural? which is easier for me to say it, yes? Mm -hmm. She didn't like the letter that she received last week. Instead of saying she didn't like the letter which she received, which she, and then you say which, and then you say she. So it sounds a little bit more complicated, right? Instead, you say that she received last week, and it's perfect, mm -hmm. yes? yes? So the woman was wearing some strange clothes. We, which? Uh-huh, in this case, you say which, looked very expensive or oh, that looked very expensive whatever you feel more comfortable with okay 
but which looked very expensive sounds very cool okay <laughs> so the wallet that that my which. son found uh -huh. that of which which my son found no that my son found on the street belonged to Martha the vegetables the vegetable the veg which you're we eating must. now or that you're eating now uh-huh which are from the best supermarkets in town the best supermarket in town margaret gave me a big box which which for that contained some interesting leaflets which contained yes martha gave me a big box which contained or that contained some interesting leaflet. The athlete must who, mean who, who the athlete who, who won the competition was really good and handsome. All right, let me move this. Uh-huh. And the next one, my uncle bought a house. Which which, which that? was which was that exactly which was built a hundred years ago or that was built a hundred years ago jonathan is a policeman who's, who's, because the son of him right <laughs> whose son wants to be an astronaut okay whose son so the son of him all right perfect is there any question I have a question. What does um, it mean? Leaflet. Leaflet, like pamphlets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are leaflets. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Somebody else? No? Perfect. Good. Perfect. 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 Oh, no. Hold on. I need to erase my board. <laughs> Goodness, rages. I forgot. Okay, now I did it. All right. Aha, uh -huh. some conversation. Now you're going to tell the story. Hmm, the story of a movie or of a book or a documentary or a video. Okay? Right now, probably you're not watching movies, right? But you know stories from the past. You know stories that you read when you were probably a child that you always remember or stories that you read from the Bible even, if you want, okay? But here it says choose a movie that you have seen recently. I'm not saying that you have seen recently because probably you haven't seen any movie recently. So that's why. Okay, then each person writes. Of course, you're not going to write. You're going to talk. You're going to tell. But to prepare your ideas, you can take notes. You say, I recently saw. Probably you change and say, when I was a kid, I saw this movie or I saw this story or I saw or I read. Okay, it's a... Um, it's a drama and it is about a guy or it's about a child it's about a person it's about a woman it's about a man who goes to the city who plays uh in a very famous soccer i don't know so you are describing a story from a movie from a book from any other story probably that you have seen okay and then you're gonna tell your partner if you want to talk about a movie fine so that you remember the story of a movie, okay? And then you tell your partner, of course, you're not gonna write because we don't have time to write all this uh, summary of ideas. But if you want to take notes, it's perfect. Yes? Is that yeah. clear? Yeah. Uh-huh, do, you know, do you remember any story? Probably when you were a kid, a story that you say, oh, it really touched me or it really, scared me it really impacted me it really um chopped me up right for example people some people still remember the story of robin hood 
some people still remember the story or the West Ferry stories actually of Heidi. Okay. <laughs> some people still remember the story that they heard when they were kids, probably not necessarily from a movie. My grandpa used to tell me a lot of stories. And I think I still remember some of those stories, right? But if you want to talk about a movie, perfect. But there you have other choices, okay? If you don't want to talk about a movie, okay? Great. I can still tell you the story of Moana, okay? <laughs> but I, I kind of forget it. Yeah, but because of my nieces, you know, I sometimes have to see these animated films. And I still love them okay so you're gonna be in different groups this time let me let me get different groups and wait a second we're gonna recreate different groups hopefully you can work with somebody else this is just a speaking activity you can ask questions of course okay Hello. Who is starting the activity? Well, if you want, uh, I can start. Um, recently, uh, the most uh, the 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 my recently movie. I think. Uh, I don't know. I think is Spider-Man and No Way Home. I think that my that was my um uh, last movie uh, I saw, but um, now now I I see well I have seen um one. A uh, novel, I, I think, uh, is Pedro. The, the Looney Tunes, because uh, it's very funny when the, I don't know, remember the name the, the basketballista, but when um, he. Michael Jordan. Ah, yes, Michael Jordan. And go to the 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 this el país the Looney Tunes <laughs> is very funny the, the, this this part <laughs> and only that. <laughs> All right. All right. And and my guess. Uh, uh, my favorite. One of my favorite movies is The Boy in the Striped Pyjama. Um, and this movie is a Holocaust drama. Um, some scenes the play moved me, such as when I lounge men, hide an old man, or when Bruno and Small died in a gas chamber. Uh, this movie relies horror of the Nazi extermination camp through the eyes of two little boys, Bruno and Schmuel. The main character is Bruno. He is eight years old. His father is a camp's Nazi commandant. And Bruno became friend with Schmuel. It was a forbidden friendship because Shmuel was a Jewish inmate. One day, Shmuel had been crying because he had no idea where his father was. So Bruno 
devise a plan, a plan that led them to their death. This movie seriously is one of the saddest films I have ever seen. And that's it. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Um. Hi, teacher. Teacher, right now we are uh, writing about our history. All right, you're taking notes. No problem. Sorry, I was drinking water, so I couldn't answer you immediately. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks. thanks, thanks. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I heard some very sad story. I just relate to a student that was narrating the story of the boy in the striped pajamas. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. Yes, I am writing about the Lion King. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> but don't, don't worry about writing too much. Just write the main ideas and then you start sharing because the idea is to, to talk, okay? Yes. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. all right. <clears throat> Oh, okay, okay. Uh, in my case, the the pop opera uh, called uh, Elise um, is a is a series uh, it's a series very very interesting because it uh, is about a, a girl. It's about a girl. Um, there are several uh, actress okay okay now Rafinha hello yes what about you Rafinha hello hello do you okay. hear us okay uh, did you hear me do you hear yes. me yes yeah yes, yes. we hear we hear okay. you Okay, um, I recently uh, saw a series in Netflix. The name is Emily in Paris. And so it's, it's a movie? About, uh, it's a series. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Series. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, it's about a girl that um, she... She go to Paris and she worked in a, in a, a company of ah, publicity. Yeah, company. And, okay. uh -huh. and, uh, and she wants to resolve all a lot of problems uh, uh, oh, to really? the, uh -huh, of the company and your There are cost, several, uh, several problems. It's customer, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's very fun and okay. because uh, uh, it's about uh, your personal life and your uh, working life. Yeah. Mm. But you, it's very interesting uh, series. Do you very enjoy fun. it? Do you enjoy it? Yes. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, Eduardo? So, okay, uh, so. What about you, Eduardo? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I was I watching uh, the series in, in, in Netflix, um, uh, the play The Calamar. Is, is the series is, is Korean, is, is Korean. Is, from it's very very interesting. Uh, really. I like uh, because I. I think uh, it's very good, but Bruce Wayne. Uh, I think I it's don't not, like so much. Uh -huh. He he doesn't appear like the other movies. Uh, yes. He looks sad or. Yes, very sad. Uh, very sad. Uh, my, it's yes, it's a my, good movie, but 
Mm. Yes. It's... Le faltaba. How do you say le faltaba? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. How do you say faltaba? <laughs> that makes me laugh because it's not very funny. Something was missing. That's how you say uh, it. Okay. Yeah, action something. was missing. Uh -huh. okay. Drama was missing. Something was missing. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Uh, I think the the best Batman uh, for me is is the Christian Bale of the of the Dark uh, Rises. The last saga. Uh, yes, oh, from from the uh, the actor Christian Bale uh, uh, with the Joker head head ledger. Ah, I don't yeah. know if you if you saw that movie. Ben Apple. Yes. Ben Apple. So. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, the Ben Affleck, ben Affleck uh, um, was the no sé cómo se dice penúltimo. That's uh, the yeah, yeah. last. Uh, yeah, but one before the last one. One before the last one. Okay, yes. teacher. Thank All you. All right. Okay, the last before the last one. Uh, it, yes, is Ben Affleck, but um, the last before. The, the the last no the one before the last one yes pero the antes de esa, pero antes de esa. <laughs> okay one before that one <laughs> ah okay one before that one and the ayer i think it's the christian bay uh... <laughs> it's the christian bay uh, that batman is very good all right yes so, well. okay thank you okay thank you mayra yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. It was a, a pleasure to talk with you, Eduardo, Luis, okay. Gracina. Did everybody participate? Yes. <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right. Welcome, 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 teacher. Great, that was nice. Yeah. So we're gonna return hey, to the main station. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we are trying to talk English. That's nice. Us. That's nice. <laughs> That's the idea, actually. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, a leader. A leader. It's great. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the first ones to return. Done. Uh-huh. We are going to use democracy in this <laughs> class today. <laughs> How come? We're going to select somebody to tell us the story here for the rest of the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> choose, say a name, you choose. You choose. nominate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say democracy. Mr. Luis Medina, say a name. Mayra Lisset. Okay, she had a good story. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's great. Hello. Hello. Excuse me? What are we talking Tell about? Tell us the story that you did. My story or, or... Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I... what what did you say? The story oh, that you noticed? Yeah, that you told your partners in the group. No, I... When we are talking about Batman movie, mm -hmm. and I don't remember the no. name of my partner, but uh, Batman and Robin. <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> El Batimón, la Baticuela. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> Mayra, do you remember? Yeah, um, one of my partners said that he likes um, heroes movies, mm -hmm. uh, Marvel, uh, he mentioned a series that that he saw in Netflix, but uh -huh. I don't remember the name. I need with E. I need with uh, E. That, uh -huh. that, that one. <laughs> that is the name of the series. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Now you say another name, Mayra. Choose somebody else. Um, Eduardo Romero. Okay, Mr. Romero. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the watching a uh, series in Netflix. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, um, what is the sweet game? Mm -hmm. So it's the violence, rap, it's dreadful, and drama. And uh, the sweet game series metaphoric. And reflection of the life and the if a basis just mm -hmm. like nice thank you good job all right somebody else now mr eduardo romero say another name okay um, uh, uh, rosa luz rosa luz <laughs> Did you have the opportunity to interact, Rosaluz? Uh, yes. Okay, so tell us. Uh, in my case, um, I like uh, what the um, um, <laughs> the word <laughs> series, sitcom, movies, the pop press. I like the movies. Uh, I like the <laughs> comedies. The action movies. Action, the action movies. Uh -huh. the, my favorite movie is The Relented Share. Who's going to cable? Because it's very interesting of the the drum. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. All right. Say another name. Uh -huh. Choose another person. And um, Claudia Linares. All right. Uh, hi. Hi. Well, with my partner, I talk about the the boy in the striped pajamas. Mm -hmm. It's a very sad movie, but I like drama, so mm -hmm. I like this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, well. Some scenes, some scenes deployed in movies such as when a uh, lieutenant, teniente, hit the an old man. Lieutenant, yes. Lieutenant, uh, uh -huh. lieutenant uh, hit an old man, and I'm crying a lot when I saw that scene. Or maybe when Bruno Smooth died in a gas chamber, that scene is really hard. And all horror in that time and the second war is very terrible and yes that's it yes and especially because it relates right to something that happened in real life it relates to all the cruelty and crime mm -hmm. that occurred during the second world war so yeah if you haven't seen that movie and you want to I mean, really cry. You can you can see that it's an old movie. Actually, it 
It came in 2008, around 2000, Eight, yeah. right? So it's the boy in the striped pajama. That's what it is called because that refers to the to the clothes that were given to the Jewish, right? It's a really, really sad movie, especially because it involves children acting. So mm -hmm. you can see the cruelty, how kids, women, and men were assassinated. All right. We have come to the time in which we have to finish the class, but we're going to see each other tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so don't you... start don't start partying tomorrow yet, okay? <laughs> you still have classes. <laughs> don't say, hey, Thank we're you. in a oh no, we have classes. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't start the party yet, okay? Wait one more day. I oh, know my dog is so crazy. Okay. Glad to see you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.